<laughs> Hello, good morning, and welcome to the Bristol Classic Bike Show. Someone's been polishing. 1956 Norton Manx 500. Beautiful. It really is, isn't it? This is the ERA Motorcycle Restoration Services stand. Yeah, it's very nice. Norton. 55, Model A. Beautiful. JBR 1980 replica. Definitely see a Honda engine in it. I think it's a matchless. It's a nice wide seat on it, isn't it? Hey. <laughs> I could cope with that. Cope with you. Your bottom would fit on that, wouldn't yeah, it? Yeah, I like that. Guys, it is literally freezing this morning. There's a Triumph. Tracker from 1964. 1958. Tri-BSA. You know what a Tri-BSA is, don't you, Carol? It's a cross between a Triumph and a BSA. Yeah, it's a mongrel. Yeah. MV Augusta 750. MV Augusta 750S America. Looks nice. It does look nice. Really nice. Exa 650. Quite nice. Harley and orange there. And what we got there, Carol? It's a Norton. Yeah, it gives a bit of info about it. All it says is a Norton, see separate information, but I don't see where the separate ah, information right. is. <laughs> Made in England. Not telling you anything about it, apart from it's 1967. Mm. Very nice. I think you've seen some dirt on that. Yeah. In the AGS. James. Fantic Matisse. Isn't that what Henry Cole failed to do South Africa on a Matisse? Yeah, it was, yeah. oh, wasn't it? Yeah. That is a Vincent of Shadow. Quick bike in its day. Some work gone into that Norvin. Rather nice. I'm not sure about the handlebar position, mine. Okay, <laughs> can you imagine that handlebar position? Yeah. You'd have to be like lying on the tank, wouldn't you? Yeah. Look at that. Beautiful job. It is beautiful, yeah. Absolutely beautiful job. I really, really like the look of the, uh, the Vincent engines. Yeah, it looks a big bike, that doesn't it? It is a big bike, yeah. Yeah, it's an HRD. The motor in that. Nineteen forty-eight, and the model is a Rapide. Look where the carburetors are sticking on that. That's not very handy, is it? <laughs> yeah, but you, I was going to say your knees are going to catch it, but they're, they're set right back there, aren't yeah. they, the, the pegs? pegs yeah. yeah. Everything looks in a bit of an odd position, actually. Francis Barnett. Are really old, 1929. Yeah, really. Two strokes. Yeah. Sorry, folks, I don't know much about Francis Barnett. It's like they're all two strokes. 1958. That's nice. Year I was born, that was made, Carol. Ah. 1964. So we've got its original tax disc on it. Has it really? Yeah, it has, hasn't it? 
Oh, it was in Coventry then, so it's still a Midlands based manufacturer. Yeah, Midlands, again, yeah. Like England used to make others, yeah. lots and lots of motorbikes. Yeah. Nash new, Racer. New Imperial, yeah. Boy, someone spent a lot of time on that. That, folks, is a 1930 2DL 350. These to protect your legs from the weather. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. It's an sure absolutely, absolutely beautiful machine. Well, I suppose it's something to do. The lockdown. Well done. <laughs> That's quite a project, isn't it? <laughs> All right. Okay. Yeah. Very good. So if you just simply can't find something, you can just you manufacture make it. it. Most things, well, most you know, cosmetic things, it's some yeah. certain engine bits because you've got to find or yeah. have made. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, thanks for your time. Thank you very much. All right, time. cheers. This must have been about, like. Wow. Mm. That needs. I mean, you can see all the yeah. the rust look, yeah. but it's the, the, they've cleaned the worst of the rust off. Yeah. Right, yeah. something a little bit more modern here. On the CB 1100 R, so someone's been racing it. Ron Haslam. And there's a Ducati 900 Super Sport. They want the well. You would. I don't know why I'm even asking you. I was going to say, now. is that a bevel drive? But I think, I think it you're is. Asking the wrong person. I think that's how they drove the <laughs> valves at the top. I'm you know sure how plenty of people more qualified to answer <laughs> that question here. Than well, me. I'm not a Ducati <laughs> expert, but you know, obviously, the modern Ducatis have all got belts. You know, I think that was driven from, you know, from there on those. Zuki VX 800. No, I'm not familiar with that. You certainly don't see many of them around. VX 800. Who's got a VX 800? I'll tell you what that looks like. It looks like that new Moto Guzzi shape. You know it, the way the It tank does comes actually up like that? look a little V yeah, V100 yeah, Moto Guzzi style, doesn't it? Does it look like that with that, shape. that yeah. piece there? Yeah, that's yeah. what I'm thinking. No, spot on. Yeah, yeah you're right. Look at that beautiful job again someone's done but the honda looked beautiful someone's done a great job of the restoration on that the tank panels engine honda that's quite an old honda isn't it that is a nine, 1966 Five. Rover? I've never heard of a Rover before, have you? That, folks, is a Rover. 1921. Rare V twin. Bought in bits and restored. I wonder, were you at the Stafford Classic Bike Show by any chance? Yeah, yeah. Because you've got that massive big bike. Yeah, the Indian. Have you you've got, got the Indian, there, haven't you? Yeah. So ah, speak right. To you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I do remember. Yeah, I think yeah. we filmed you at filmed yeah. you at that show as yeah. well, didn't we? Yeah. <laughs> so the Indian's been here before, so oh, has it? Right. So you, you bought something, something different. different. <laughs> it's nice to have a choice, isn't it? Really. <laughs> oh, brilliant. So we we'll back at Stafford in April or something yeah. different again. Yeah. Yeah. So Very is good. that that yours? Ah, yeah. yeah. oh, right. So I've never even heard of Rover before. So Rover, Humber, Sunbeam, Singer. They all make oh, the car manufacturers really? make bikes. Really? They started making rubber bikes. Yeah. And eventually they branch off in the car. Okay. It's all the same company. It's the Rover Car Company. Oh, right, okay. But that's pre-car day. Yeah, yeah. So how long did they make bikes for then? Up into the mid to late 20s. Right, okay, so really early stuff then. Oh, yeah. Right, okay, that's really interesting. 
you must have an amazing collection. <laughs> <laughs> so how, how many bikes do you, do you have then? Uh, Twelve. Ooh. Ah, right, OK. There's always room for another one, though, isn't there? <laughs> more than three years, well, so. oh, All right, OK. Good. All right. <laughs> that's the way. That's the way to do it. Nice to see you. Nice to see you again. All right. Yeah, very good. Yeah, maybe. Maybe. Yeah. Thank you. All right. Bye bye. Hey, Zuki GT 550, two stroker, two stroke triple. This is the South Wales Classic Motorcycle Club. And that's a 1972 GT 550. Take a quick look down them. Hey Carol, that's the bike I had. Oh, is it? That's the bike I went to work on for years. Ah, right. Yeah. Ooh. <laughs> ah, blimey. I virtually give mine away. In that colour? Yeah, that colour. Oh, it is, yeah, the one you had when we yeah. bought our first house. Yeah, that's yes. it, the one where I had yeah, it. This one looks in considerably better condition yeah. than the one you had. I sold it to a lad. I said, make, it, make me an offer, and he made me an offer of the full asking price. Yeah, and he was a bit short for it as well, wasn't he? Yeah, he wobbled off down the road. Wobbled up the road, yeah. Yeah. 400 uh, triple. Lovely. A few Hondas down. Oh, fizzy. Mm -hmm. You had one of those as well, didn't you? FS1E, 73. It's nice. Believe you me, if you engage those pedals, Carol, they wouldn't go far with it. <laughs> <laughs> you, it was easier to push them than it was to pedal them. And the pedals were just to get round the law at the yeah. time. And uh, I, think, uh, I think after 1977, they said, well, we'll do away the pedals, but they must do only 30 miles an hour. Right. So the, the ones pre yeah. previous to 77 were unrestricted, like my right. original one. I think after that, mm -hmm. they had the 30 mile an hour restriction. Mm -hmm. Unless somebody can tell me differently. Mm -hmm. Greaves, Britain's oldest motorsport club. Looks like these guys actually use them off-road. Mm. Sidecar. Wow. <laughs> that's going well, to be fun. Airy, that's that's going to be fun, that is. <laughs> you yeah. reckon? Yeah. On CCM. So has got a modern incarnation over the back there. Tenere 700. Sports moped owners of the South West. <laughs> Classes mopeds, yeah, these are all mopeds. Well, you had the FS1E. Moped, then, because it's got pedals. Yeah, you had the FS1E, you had the uh, AP50, the Zuki SS50s all at the same time. Mm -hmm. If you had an SS50, you were going slower than the uh, the guys on the FS1E and the AP. Okay. And I think the AP50 had got five speeds. Recently discovered in the back garden. Well, it's been for many years, yeah. This is the vintage Japanese, Japanese motorcycle, motorcycle club. club. I suppose it makes sense that we've got some Japanese bikes here. RGV. RGV 250 VJ21. Fireblade from 94. That's what started all the craziness off the Fireblade was. It's only got 17,000 miles on it. 2004 R1. I mean, that still looks a modern looks, bike, doesn't, doesn't it? Modern, yeah, yeah. Still looks really modern, yeah. and you wouldn't take a second look at that on the road now, no. would you? No, it looks like a lot of the modern bikes now. Yeah, VR400 over there. Hey, look at that. That's a beautiful little 50cc Yamaha Trail from 1976. That's a TY50P. So it's a beautiful job of restoring that. It's a beautiful little bike, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. We've got a 7 Honda CB750A Honda Matic. And what we're going to hear then? Well, that's what all the Japanese. That? Yeah. I bet it was like. I don't know. Not, not seen one of those. <laughs> Don't know what it is. It. 
It's a Honda. It's a 1956 Honda EK200. Mm -hmm. So these bits stuck out inside them. Very, very unusual bike. This is an extremely rare Honda. Ah, I see. I ah. wondered what they were. <laughs> it all makes That's sense. Brilliant. <laughs> Absolutely brilliant. Very good. All right. That's yours. Dampers on the front as well. Right? Yeah. I mean, it's got a really unusual front end on it as well, hasn't it? Yeah. Sorry? Yeah. All right, OK. Yeah. Solid, don't they? Yeah. German bike with DKW. Right. OK. Is, was this a Japanese only? Yeah. Never, never came to, to Europe? No. Wow. Really? That's very unusual, isn't it? Yeah. So it's priceless, really. Then you know, yeah. yeah. Do you do you actually ride it? I have ridden it. It's yeah. not a nice thing to ride. Is it, it not? If it does go wrong, you you've got no parts. Yeah, I suppose yeah. you can't get in parts with the gearbox. Yeah. And, no. no, fabulous! It's a really fabulous good. machine. Yeah, thank you. For thank you very it. much. Good. Thank you. Seventy-three Kawasaki Z1. I mean, it's still a beautiful bike, and you can see why they're, yeah, uh, yeah. They're, they do the modern version, version of, of it. it yeah. yeah, classic design, isn't it? Yeah, beautiful. Well, the one next to it's rather nice as well. K eight five hundred. You still prefer the deeper purple really, cage, the don't you? Really, red or the yeah. deeper purple for me. Yeah. Seventy six GT five fifty. GSX 750. Kind of the time when four strokes were all taking over from the uh, two strokes. There's a 1986 CBR 250 F there. Hey, look, Zuki Rotary. 1975. In fact, there's two rotaries here together. We've got a black one there. You notice that that rotary there has got the standard clocks on. Right. This rotary oh, yeah, here has got the uh, got the went a bit the round over clock. The top with the roundness of everything. Well, I don't know. I mean, it adds to its, well, uh, its unique, I suppose. Uniqueness, yeah. doesn't I think it? They got a bit carried away with the design or something. Yeah. I wonder if you could still get parts for those engines. Hello. Beautiful job that is, isn't it? Beautiful paint job. I love that bike. It's gorgeous. It is gorgeous, isn't it? So close look at the engine on it. Very, very nice. Moto Perilla. Moto Perilla? Perilla. From 1963. New one again on me. I love it when I come to these shows and find bikes I've never yeah, seen that's before. The beauty of it, isn't it? Really, yeah, yeah. yeah. Stuff gets yeah. These things. We've got a 1978 RG500 there. That's a stroker, isn't it? Two stroke. You've got a uh, 1959 Norton 350 there. <laughs> oh no, there's, tr there's trouble in the house, folks. We've got a rival channel here. That's a gorgeous one. <laughs> yeah, like the guy, yeah, this is a Desmodici, right. I think. What was his name? Dave something, wasn't he? Yeah, Dave. This was road registered. Hicks. 
Dave Hicks. Dave Hicks, yeah, Dave Hicks. I wonder if he's still got it. I don't know, I bet he has. He, he did enough right. miles to get his free uh, service and rebuild, didn't yeah. he? Yeah. Enough road miles. And we followed it, didn't we? Yeah, it was very loud. Super, super noisy. And it wasn't very good in low speed going through the towns, as I remember. In fact, it wasn't very good at starting, was it? It wasn't very good at doing a lot of things, actually. <laughs> It's good at making a lot of noise. Yeah. Nice Yamaha there. Oh, oh aerial. Yeah. Aerial, yeah. That's nice. Not very comfortable though. I don't think it was built it's for built comfort, for Carol. Speed. Yeah. Oh, that's... I'd, I'd love to own something like that. It's lovely, isn't it? Yeah. The RD 400. Lots of guys my age had had these. Owned for 20 years, gets ridden. Good. Not very often, but it does get ridden. Oh, it's yours, is it? Yeah. I mean, I had a. Yeah, yeah. I had the uh, LC at the time, you know. It was a time we were swapping over, wasn't it? Yeah, but. Uh, well, the, it might have been faster than my 250, but. Uh, no, it's, it's smashing. So how many miles have you clocked upon that then? Oh, it's done 17 overall. 17? 17,000. Yeah. yeah, it's not bad. It still looks in marvellous order, really. It's had an awful lot of money spent on it. Yeah. Are you, well, that's how it goes with these bikes, isn't it? You know? <laughs> Vintage yeah, Motorcycle then. Club Somerset. Douglas. Old one. It looks long and, long and low, I think. Speedway dirt track. Wow. You see, the uh, it's like a boxer engine, but mounted Sideways longitudinally yeah, in, the, yeah, in the frame. Yeah. 77 Bonneville. Silver Jubilee. Try 500 from 1930. Set. Actually, read it. 350 Valisette Viper 1961. BSA 1949. Again, Carol. Stick shift. I suppose it's mm. derived from like on a car, isn't it, where you've got uh, yeah, yeah. a gear knob. So I suppose yeah. it's kind you can of be ambidextrous yeah. when you're riding one of those. Yeah, just a bit. So I mean, that brake lever is this side. Yeah. See that? That'd flummox weird, you, wouldn't it? it? Yeah, I don't think I could cope with having the opposite way around. Get, you would get used to it. I suppose. It's a BSA. So you change it around this side, look, Carol. You see race bikes are sometimes the other way around, No, bra race bikes are normally uh, uh, one up, five down. Oh, is that what you mean? Yeah, that's yeah, race yeah, shift. Yeah. This is the actual gear lever on the opposite side right, of the yeah, uh, engine. Yeah, so you change your gear with your right foot. Uh, Phil's tri tri uh, triumph that he's got is like that, yeah. the old one. So change your gear with your right foot. Yeah, but that'd be weird, wouldn't it? Because that'd be forever. Yeah, but you'd get... Well, I you'd, suppose you wouldn't be. You'd just you get be used to it, it yeah. Would you? Once you'd rode for a few miles. Yeah, once you tried to press the brake and you realise nothing's happening. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Catty 250. Really not... I like some of these little Ducatis. Oh, I know, you just gorgeous. don't... Yeah. Absolutely Single beautiful. cylinder. What what yeah. year is that then, Carol? That is... Give it a low down. Where are we? While I go around it. It's a 1966 yeah. Ducati 250 Mach 1. That is lovely. I haven't Ducatis seen one of those before. Ducatis are quite a distinctive tank shape, yeah. aren't they? They are, yeah. That's... Fairly unusual looking machine that is, isn't it? This brakes at the front though. CX 
X500 turbo carol. X50. Sorry. Oh, sorry. It's a, yeah, it's a 650. <laughs> That's yeah. what it says on the side of it. Anyway. Well, I'll start that whole thing again now. <laughs> hey, guys, it's a CX 650 turbo. <laughs> turbo? Yeah, yeah. That's what that is down there, then, is it? Yeah, early turbos. See, they did do a 6500, though, didn't they? That's what, that's what that is there, oh, isn't right. it? Yeah, that's what I'm thinking of. The little engine's a little bit like the uh, the Guzzi, isn't it? Mm. V-twin, mm. how they arrange that engine. In fact, we seem to be in a whole a whole load of them here. Hey, look at this! It's a Messerschmitt KR201. 1958. Very unusual machine you've got here. <laughs> yes. Do you mind if I film, Ran? Pitched in sacks. Yeah. 191cc. Yeah. Single cylinder, two stroke. Two stroke. Four so feet. you make a bit of smoke behind you when you're going along? Well, yeah. Yes, you do. <laughs> but um, not too bad if you don't, um, you're not racing it down the road too much. Yeah, yeah. It's quite a long so what, what sort of speed? 50, 55? All day long. That's not bad, you know. I've done, I've done a trip to Austria. Really? 966 miles, three and a half days. Wow. Any Two breakdowns? En route, none. Yeah. Really? When I got there, I blew a head gasket. Okay. So, out with the tools. Tools are in one Well, side. a two-stroke, they're not too bad, are they? You just whip oh. the head off and... Yeah. Just pull the head off and put yeah. the one on and seal it up, put it back again. Oh, it's fabulous. Hot. 50cc NSU made in Germany. Nice display there in a circle, isn't it? It's lovely, yeah. Like a maypole. Aerial, matchless, AGS. Another amazing looking MV Augusta 350. That's beautiful, isn't it? It does look absolutely gorgeous, doesn't it? That? From 1974, it's a 350B, a bit more modern, Japanese, RXS, RDS7, 250, 1973, Zuki 100ER, 1980. It's your era, isn't it? My era, yeah. Yeah, absolutely. 1980, the year I left school. That would be the year I got my FS1E. Raced until 2010. It's quite a big tank on it, actually. It's a massive tank, actually, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. A load of BSAs, BSA Gold Stars. These three are gorgeous here, Carol. We're on the Grebe Riders Association stand. I've heard of Greaves. Not heard of Greaves? No. Their uh, Greaves are quite synonymous the with off road right machines. It's not built for comfort, Carol, but you're wow. not supposed to sit on it. Oh, really? It's standing, standing up. All the time. Yeah, it's standing up. I love that exhaust. Yeah, lovely. It'll warm your leg a bit, won't it? Yeah. Orkston. We used to go to Orkston Park to watch the uh, motor racing, uh, motocross, didn't we? All right. I don't know whether that's a, yeah, it be. the same. Yeah, yeah. Orkston Park. See, that is built to sit on. Yeah, that's nice. Yeah, I've got plenty of padding in that house. That's more, more your style, isn't it, Carol? It's the National Sprint Association where they obviously modify them for sprint racing. Yeah. 754. Bonnie. VF 750F.
This is the Wells Classic Motorcycle Pool. Drive Trident. I like it when the night's are lit. Yeah. Looks good on the camera. Nice, yeah. But it gets to show all the bits of the underneath of the bike as well, doesn't it? Probably? Yeah. Harley Davidson. See, I'd like a Harley Davidson if they were looked as little and neat as that. <laughs> That's when Harley Davidson made singles. Yeah, beautiful. Yeah. There's Ron Haslam over there. It's a Panther Owners Club. Like, quite comfortable in there. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Right yeah. So, close look at it. It's a long stroke motor, doesn't it? Yeah. Well, some of these nice. are that's some amazing. of these are a bit old for me. Really old, but that is Douglas. Good, isn't it? Yeah. Crafted, doesn't it? Yeah, 1913. Yeah, beautiful. It's a ladies model look. Where? Oh, yeah. yeah, it's the ladies. <laughs> that ruled you out, wouldn't it? Ooh, cheeky. <laughs> I suppose the classic is a ladies model because you've got it's no. Like having a step through it's the like, it's like, like, like yeah. It's like a ladies pushbar. God, blimey, that'll have them all screaming now if they put a ladies model out, wouldn't it? Quite elegant, isn't it? Yeah, it is. It's quite a nice design, actually, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. It's very unusual. Completely different type of front end. It's not yeah. got traditional forks on it, has it? No. I think it looks really nice, very actually. Unusual, yeah. The Buzzing Club. Does that mean this is where the sort of bikes that you just have flat out everywhere? <laughs> I think it probably is, isn't it? <coughs> see, going back to what that guy was saying, the rally, you see? Yeah. You know, they're all making them, weren't they? Yeah. I suppose it's the next step, isn't it? You make a push bike. Yeah, rally. Slap an engine on it and you've got a motorbike, so. Heavyweight Japanese machines here. Z Thou, Mark II. Honda 750, oh, sorry, Honda VFR 750FJ, Kawasaki Z1000. There's a four cylinder 354 there, look. I mean, no, the, 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 the pots on those aren't going to be very big, are they? I wasn't aware that they made something that small. 354, and it, may, it only makes 34 horsepower right. out of four cylinders. CBXL did a good interview with the uh, CBX Owners Club at the Staffordshire Bike yeah, Show, didn't we? Yeah. So and I'll, I'll put a, a link up on the video about that if you are interested in hearing more about the CBX. CB 900F. It's in good condition, doesn't it? It's a massive bike, doesn't it? CB 900F, and it made about 95 horsepower. Big, big bike. It is a rally, isn't it? Yes, I think so. It's so a piece of wood. That is the brake. Wow. I don't think you want to stop in a hurry. 1968. Egli Vincent. Uh, oh, my colour. RD. <laughs> yep, RD. That's a 350. Mine was a 250, but same colour. I love that bike. See, that one's called the uh, BSA Rocket 3, look. Yeah. We'll try and do a Rocket 3 now. Yeah. 
This is a Trident and Rocket 3 Owners Club. Several of them are my mates at the time when I had the uh, LC, you got the uh, Suzuki X5. Mm -hmm. Busy, busy, busy. This is the uh, first day, Saturday, at the show. Really popular show. Hey, down there, look, they've got uh, uh, Brian Crichton. I think I spot Brian Crichton. Oh, yes, he is supposed to be today, yeah. Wandering down there. Yeah. Here's Mr. Crichton with his CR. 700. There you go. Oh no, trouble's here again. You're cold. I'm cold now. Aww. Just guess what we've just done. Go on, man. I got what have you just done then? I've just bought this. I've really got just... some cash in for the cash machine around the corner and bought the exhaust. <laughs> really? <Yeah. laughs> There's a cash yeah. point here. Really? Yeah. Very good. Are they going to go in your new car's boot? Yes. Yeah, Jim. Really? Yeah. If not, they've got the back seat. We've got a blanket. All oh, nice and shiny, clingy bits. Oh. <laughs> Sounds like the Crichton started up. Ducati Owners Club. Some beautiful machines. You've got to give them to Ducati. Even years ago, they were, they were they were they knew how to make a good-looking bike, didn't they? There's a Kajiba Elephant over there. You know what that got in, don't you? Powered by Ducati. South Wales Sunbleam Motorcycle Club. Owners Club stand. Marini Camel. It's like something to get to the Dakar, isn't it? It is, yeah. yeah. BSA Bantam Clubs. The little Bantams. Yes. The Verda. Bird at a 750 SF2, that is. Bird at 1200. 1978. Iconic Jota. 1982 Jota. 1000cc. Beautiful bike, isn't it? 500 twin. Choppers? Choppers, yes. Rally choppers. Who'd have thought they'd be collector's items? <laughs> the ones I remember who've got this stick shifter there. In yeah, the and a long seat. Yeah, yeah, yeah and the long they're seat. They're more modern. So aren't they? They, they don't look quite right to me. No. It's absolutely bitter out here today. Yeah, that guy's in a t shirt, look. It's Sorry? Really sold. The guys in a t-shirt there, look. Blimey. Nitrate examination gloves. Mmm. Bend over. Do you tie tags? <laughs> I wonder what sort of thing he's running there. Tie tags and tie examination tags. gloves. <laughs> Just needs a little bit of fettling. Yeah. The runner. Might need a bit more than a little bit of fettling then. I think they've been in a fire. <laughs> <laughs> If you want a project, <laughs> there's one. Mm. I mean, is that is that that car? I mean, is look that savable? I just, I just don't think it's savable, Carol. It's just been found in a hedge, hasn't it? I mean, look at the rims have rotted through. Yeah, you need there, to replace isn't it? everything. You have to have new wheels. Everything. Everything. You might as well. That is just. <laughs> it's an expensive job, though. This renovating oh, motorbikes, it is, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Look at all the stuff. Yeah. There's, people, there's customers out there, he's, he's finding the, 
yeah, the right person to, to buy it, isn't it? Yeah. When I get my moped out on the road, I'm going to ride, ride, ride. <laughs> don't think I've heard that one. <laughs> You've not heard the Jeff McCarrot song? I don't think I have. When I, I get my moped. It's a new parts restored to ride. V5, 3,600, it's not actually too bad. Four sale. Oh, look at that. Is that being an edge bottom? Wow. That is sat in a hedge sat bottom. That's outside for a long time, isn't it? Good yeah. Good. Goodness me. It's got moss growing out of it. It's got a hole in the fuel tank. I think the hole in the fuel tank is probably the least of its worries. You can see how busy it is today, guys. Yeah. Everybody's queuing for all the food and coffee stands. Really, really busy. Quite like some of these. Let's have a quick look. Quite like the signs. FS1E reminds me. Aww. Oh. 3,250 quid they want for that. What do you reckon? I think I'd rather uh, have a I new think one. No. Yeah. Well, that's about it for today. I hope you've enjoyed a little walk around the Bristol Classic Bike Show. We're going to just have a wander around and enjoy the rest of the day. So thanks a lot for watching. Catch you on the next one. Cheerio. Bye. Bye bye.